Hey, everybody. Ormac here for some more Dwarf Fortress. As I said, uh, I would be playing again once the animal thing got fixed. A bunch of other things got fixed, too. This is, as you can see, 40.10, which is a couple of steps up from the last time we played. We're just gonna get right into it. How about... I've already made a world. I had designed a world with advanced parameters. I'm not sure how badly I broke it, but we'll find out. There should be caves, if nothing else. I'm almost positive I didn't break that. Thank you, Windows. So it's going to move the date, and I'll be back in a second. Alright, here we are! In the, uh... I forget what this world is called, uh... Planet of Omen. This is the Golden Continent. These are the waters of fungus. This is uh, the Ocean of Silk. The waters of cleaving. Since this is a region, it's all the Golden Continents. I, I don't like uh, islands nearly as much as I like regions. So we're going to uh, stick with this. You might also notice that I made caves visible. I like doing that. If I could start in a place where there is a cave, that's pretty sweet. Also, I've noticed something kind of weird. Sometimes humans take up residence in caves. And it will say, like, the human cave, this or that. I was playing in adventure mode uh, in 40.8, and I picked a human whose uh, who's, uh, race had only one cave, or one, like, uh, settlement, and it was a ca cavern. Needless to say, it was extremely disorganized, and they didn't really have much of anything, aside from some guards that were getting killed by troglodytes. I think what we're going to look for... I also turned metal up uh, pretty high, which is something I like to do. I mean, everyone else gets the metal, too. So it shouldn't be a big deal, right? The only thing I want to avoid is aquifers. Because I just don't understand machines enough to really avoid them very successfully. And I'd rather not have everyone drown, like my miner. Okay, is this an aquifer? Yes, it is. Okay. What about here? Man, there are freaking aquifers everywhere. There is never not an aquifer. Maybe it's just too close to the ocean. How about we move really far inland? In here? Not much metal here, though. I like shallow metals and uh, deep metals, like with S's. Flux is good, too. The best present you could give me, though, is coal. I like coal. Shallow metals, deep metals, but no flux. There's flux, there's shallow and deep. Hmm. Can I get a mix of that? It's kind of it, except aquifer. Huh. Well, I could add a note. Note. Right there. There we go. Then we uh, escape the note and move on. I also want to make sure everyone has access. That's something else I want to be sure of. Apparently the goblins aren't here, but they are here. What is here? They're an aquifer. That's something to avoid. This is just too close to the ocean, I think. There's humans. They should be able to visit. 
Shallow metals, deep metals. Sinister. Well, it's not terrifying. There's that. I wonder if the humans do any mining. They, uh, dig up iron, but I've never seen a human mine. Unless that's what the cave was. Like, uh, this random mine became the last human settlement. Right next to a tower? What could go wrong? Except for necromancers in year one. As I understand it, zombies are still horribly broken. Undestroyable killing machines capable of rending apart legendary dwarves in a single blow. So, uh... Kind of want to watch out for that. Ooh, the Brook Bunny Camped. Sounds fancy. How about a jungle? Can we find a jungle? This is woodland. This is shrubland. Savannah, shrubland. Marsh. Marsh is interesting. Swamp. There is aquifer here, but there's everything else, too. How about we, uh, settle here? Let, let's see what's... Okay, dwarves, elves, and goblins. No humans. The humans are only down south. Okay. Those dwarves are much closer. Uh, those dwarves are kind of trapped. Uh huh. I don't see that these guys have a settlement left. They might be wiped out. I think we'll go with these guys because they're pretty close. Now we do have an aquifer, and that's a problem. <sighs> But we can... So I remember aquifers are just like these random bricks, and if you dig on them, they will just spray water endlessly and flood an entire Z level with endless water. Then if you have a tunnel down, it'll flood every level under it with endless water. Forever. The water never stops unless you can dig from above and channel the uh, block that's generating the water that destroys it. I think that's how it works. But there's going to be a lot of them. And that's kind of obnoxious. Oh, aquifers, why are you so obnoxious? Right here is more ideal. Right, oh, right here. Shallow metal, deep metal, flux stone, clay and soil. Got all got access to goblins and elves. No humans because they're down south. They didn't settle up north. Hmm. Very flat. We're in a marsh. And we have the subtletied itch of ruthlessness. That is the stream in our area. It's warm here, but that probably means that it's going to get cold in the winter and freeze. We have calm surroundings, which is a little disappointing. I would like something a little more savage. Can I make a note? Do, 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 do. There we go. There's a note. Escape the note. Something a little more dangerous. How about right here? This is hot. This is mirthful. This is wilderness. This is also wilderness and scorching. And that's scary! Okay. 
How about something that's just savage without being uh, horrifying to behold? Sinister? Gen generic wilderness? Uh, Untamed Wilds is a step in the right direction, but there's nothing here I want. How about over here by this cave? Shallow metal, flux stone, deep metal. There's a little soil at the cave. Spangadid. Hmm. But only one metal in the shallow layer. What about here? Shallow, but also aquifer. You know, I could be, like, embarking on to, like, a dragon's cave, and the moment I get out, he's going to devour me. I don't know. That will be interesting to find out. What I do know is I don't want a freaking aquifer, because I'm just not that great a player. I guess you don't have to be a great player to deal with aquifers, but you got to be better than me. Alright. Let's just do this. Give me high savagery. I don't really... whatever. Those are my requirements. Search. And I'll be right back. All right, we found some places to look at, which is good. Let's browse the results. Uh, okay, where is my cursor? There it is on the far uh, right. <clears throat> so you think this is a good spot? Any spot with a cave up here. This is a cave. All right, we can actually go right here. Untamed wilds, shallow metals, deep metals, flexstone. That actually looks real good to me. I think I kind of want to enlarge my play area so I can have the cave right in the middle. Because those things are pretty expensive. And this way I'm guaranteed to find the cavern lair. You know? So we're going to go here. Yeah, that works. I don't know what any of these are. I'll do it myself, though. Thanks. We'll have a proficient miner. We will have... Hmm... Proficient woodcutter slash carpenter. Proficient grower slash brewer. Let's see, we need another carpenter. Competent carpenter, competent mason. Because we will need a mason. I also need a stone crafter. Welcome to proficiency. Of course I'm going to need a second miner. Oh, I'm out of points. Well, we'll fix that. Don't need any of this really easy to make stuff. We'll keep the bags. We don't need the loose cloth, though. Or the thread. There you go. And you can have the rarest and most sought after skill ever. Which is appraisal. Where is that? There it is. Competent appraiser. I'll we'll give you competent record keeper and then just a smattering of other skills. Uh, social skills.
There you go. You'll definitely be the leader because you're the only one with any social skill whatsoever. Fifty rum. Thirty beer. Fifteen spawn. Ten of those. I don't want any cave wheat. I will take more sweet pod seeds though. Rock nuts. Ugh. Kind of a pain. And they. This fruit is also the seed, so people tend to eat your loose food items, or your seeds, which is kind of a pain in the butt. We'll bring some extra food. I should have brought some fisher dwarves, but I'll probably make the uh, leader a fisherman. Just let him do whatever. Now we're going to need a lady and a dude cat. A lady and a dude dog. Hmm. You and a rim. And then a rooster and some hens. There we go. That looks good to me. Might not be the best, but it'll be okay. Give me a random name. Throw wall, no. Canyon constructs, balance, uh, name manners, den page, nourished brass, mirrored shins, bolt sanctums, noiseless diamonds. Diamonds are pretty quiet, generally speaking. Unless you drop them, I suppose. And that also depends on coal crabs. Sure, coal crabs. Group! The Lost Vessel. The rosy clasp, the beautiful board, the eviscerated shield, the aqua rooms. Sounds like we're going to get flooded. Inks of folding, tomes of martyring, the just palisade, trade of controlling, systematic trade, superior tomes, humble pulley, occult merchants, grizzly merchant. Yes, the grizzly merchant it is a bear who is also our appraiser. He's polymorphed into a dwarf. Shh, don't tell anybody. Okay. We'll see how much how much horror comes up out of the cave to kill us. Last time I did this on top of a cave, a giant cave spider came out and killed like uh three four ducks and then just wandered off the edge of the map. The dingo men get hungry. It's a danger. Hungry dingo men. You don't want that. Thinking. Be right back. I'm back. I also need to mess with the volume mixer a little bit because it sounds kind of loud. So we'll lower this to. 50. Also, whenever you start like this, you start on top of the cave. Let's see, we started also with a uh, pendant camel and a pendant yak. Not gonna get any children out of that. I don't know uh, how the breeding works. Okay, we've got troglodytes. That's a problem. But if they stay in the cave, it's not a big deal. More troglodytes. Okay, first things first is we're going to build a wall right there in the cave and en cave entrance and plug it up. And dwarf hack apparently starts by default. So uh I don't know, I couldn't turn it off. Alright, check the unit list. Okay, a bunch of guys in the water. Giant sponge, river otters, alligators, long nose gars, a human spearman, a chiefess. Where? 